Imran Khan and Narendra Modi are two great men who lead the amazing countries of India and Pakistan. These two nations since the time of partition of 1947 have faced their struggles and opposition. And often the leaders of these two countries are viewed as people who will help their country get the upper hand in various matters over the other country. However, in this episode of FTD Facts, I'm taking a look at the current leaders of India and Pakistan and sharing with you who they are and what has them be so great, even if some of their views are different from each other. Hello everyone, my name is Leroy Kenton and thanks for tuning in to another episode of FTD Facts. Now, this is a channel where we explore the different countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. Now, I've made individual videos about the life of Narendra Modi as well as Imran Khan, so I'll link to those videos as well as have them in the card section and at the end of this episode as well. And also I got two big updates here. So FTD Facts is now translated in Spanish. So if you're a Spanish speaking person, I have the link down below where you can subscribe to FTD Facts Espanol. And the second update I have for you is I'm starting a new personal channel. It's called FTD Speaks. And this is where I'm gonna be sharing my experiences as well as talking about different topics, about life, you know, religion, spirituality, culture, and relationships. So it's gonna be a lot different from FTD facts where here we just share information but you know on FTD Speaks I'm gonna finally get a chance to just really talk to you about like real stuff. Remember to subscribe and I can't wait to see you all over there and of course subscribe here to FTD Facts if this is your first time watching this channel. Okay so let's jump into this episode. I'm gonna start off with the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan. Now Imran Khan was Pakistan's most successful cricket captain and he played for the Pakistani cricket team from 1971 up until 1992. But in those years he served as a captain at various times between the years 1982 and 1992. But before all of that Imran Khan was born in Lahore, Pakistan on October 5th 1952. He was born Imran Ahmed Khan Nayazi and he's the only son of his parents and he was educated at the HS in college where he really excelled in cricket. And as a matter of fact, Imran made his first class cricket debut for Lahore against Sargoda at the age of 16. He was selected to play for Pakistan while he was still a student at Oxford University. He had to wait for another three years, however, to play his second test and then again another two years to play his fifth. But his determination eventually paid off when he started becoming more regular on the scene since the year 1976. He then went on to study at the Royal Grammar School Worcester in England where he really learned to play cricket. Then he enrolled in Oxford University in 1972 where he studied philosophy, politics and economics. Imran Khan was very determined to become a test cricket player since he was nine years old and yet at the age of 16 he made his first class debut after playing just a few games. So that was a little bit of an overview of Imran Khan. Now let's look at Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi is India's 14th Prime Minister and he secured the largest mandate that any other Indian Prime Minister has won since the year 1984. He was also the first Indian Prime Minister born in independent India. Narendra Modi's birthday is September 17th 1950 and he was born in Gujarat, India. His birth name was Narendra Damodardas Modi. So yeah, no real fancy changes in his name like Imran Khan. Modi was raised in a small town in northern Gujarat and he completed an MA degree in political science from Gujarat University. He joined the pro-Hindu Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh or the RSS organization in the early 1970s and he set up a unit of the RSS students wing in his area. Narendra Modi continually rose up inside of the RSS and because of his association with the RSS it really benefited his political career that followed. Narendra Modi joined the BJP which is the Bharatiya Janata Party in the year 1987 and a year later he was made the general secretary of the Gujarat branch of the party. He was very instrumental in increasing the party's presence in the state and in 1990 Narendra Modi was one of the BJP members who participated in a coalition government in the state and he helped the BJP achieve success in the 1995 state legislative assembly elections that allowed the party to form the first ever BJP controlled government in India. Now there's one very interesting thing about Narendra Modi and it was that he had entered into an arranged marriage as a teenager to a woman named Joshabaden Chimanlal. So when he had filed his nominations for prime minister, he 
had to acknowledge the marriage after almost 15 years of listing himself as being unmarried. Now, Narendra Modi wasn't the only one with some hiccups in his life. You see, in 1994, Imran Khan admitted to ball tampering in test cricket and scratching the ball with a bottle top one time during a match in the year 1981. Also, in 1997, a Los Angeles court ruled that Imran Khan was the legal father of a four-year-old girl in California named Tyrion White, who was born out of an affair that he had with Sita White. And this is not to you know, put a damper on the successes of Imran Khan because he's done many great things. Like, for example, in April 1996, Imran Khan founded the Pakistani Tariq and Insaf, which is the Movement of Justice political party, and he became its chairman, which he still is to this date. He was elected in the National Assembly from November 2002 to October 2007 and was again elected during the May 11, 2013 general elections. He was close to becoming the prime minister all the way back in 2002. And it's really important to know that because a lot of people view Imran Khan as somebody that doesn't really have a lot of experience in politics. But he's been in politics from way back. Imran Khan, he led the third largest block of parliaments in the National Assembly from 2013 to 2018. In the 2018 general elections, his party won the largest number of seats. This was the first time the PTI, which was the party that he founded, entered into federal government. And on August 7th, 2018, Imran Khan became the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan. In contrast, when it comes to the political career, in 1995, Modi was made the Secretary of the BJP's National Organization in New Delhi, India, and was appointed as its General Secretary just two years later. He remained in that office for another three years, but in October 2001, he replaced Keshubai Patel after Patel had been held responsible for the state government's poor respond to the aftermath of the massive Buj earthquake in Gujarat earlier that year. Modi entered his first ever electoral contest in February 2002 by election where he won a seat in the Gujarat State Assembly. Narendra Modi's role as chief minister during the communal riots that engulfed Gujarat in 2002 was brought into question. He was accused of condoning the violence and not doing enough to stop it. And then in 2005, the United States declined to issue him a diplomatic visa saying that he was responsible for the riots. Modi's political success in Gujarat, however, led to his reintegration into mainstream politics. The BJP won again in the 2007 state assembly elections and again in 2012. During his time as the head of the Gujarat government, Modi was given credit for the rapid growth of the state's economy and the party's performance advanced Modi to become a potential candidate for the Prime Minister of India. And this, of course, happen because he's the current Prime Minister. And at the time of filming this episode, Narendra Modi is now up for re-election in 2019. Now, from May 2018, a man by the name of Rahul Gandhi trails behind Narendra Modi as a popular choice for the Prime Minister in the 2019 general elections. And at the time of filming this episode, those elections have not happened yet. Now, both of these men have achieved great things, so let's take a look at the different accomplishments that they've both achieved. For Imran Khan, you know, he was elected on high hopes to battle the corruption and fix Pakistan's economic issue. And Prime Minister Imran Khan has been in a lot of action. His administration completed 43% of its set task within his first 100 days in office. Imran Khan, in a speech, he said that he made an offer to India for peace talks immediately after coming into power with the aim to end poverty in the country. He also pledged to fill the nation's $12 billion gap. And this isn't currently complete, but he's taken some actions in this area. Pakistan planned to get financing secured within its first 100 days because it becomes more expensive as time passes. So Saudi Arabia has deposited already $1 billion out of a $3 billion pledge to boost Pakistan's foreign exchange reserves. Imran Khan has also pledged to decrease gas price for industries. So to become regionally competitive and boost exports, the government of Pakistan announced that it will be decreasing gas prices for factories. Now, Pakistan was able to decrease tax by as much as half, reducing gasoline and diesel prices. Prime Minister Imran Khan has also given his word to an anti-corruption drive, and this is where his government has started to investigate previous government contracts in search of any corruption, and they just want to clean house, clean it up, 
give Pakistan's government and society and culture just a whole new clean slate and establish Pakistan as a nation in a way that the world has never seen before. So those have been some political accomplishments of Imran Khan as of course you know Narendra Modi has been in power for much longer. So let's look at some of his accomplishments that he has done in the time he's been in power. Narendra Modi had said in his end of year address in 2018, it is a matter of great pride that in 2018 the world's largest health insurance scheme Ayushman Bharat was launched. Electricity reached every village of the country. World's prominent agencies have recognized that India is pulling its citizens out of poverty at a record rate. The health insurance plan aims to provide an annual health cover of 5 lakh per family, which is a little over $7,000 US for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization. India's defense has got a new reinforcement and successfully completed the nuclear triad. Prime Minister Modi also said that India has been able to cross the 95% mark in cleanliness and sanitation coverage. So now we've reached the end of this episode and this was your side-by-side -side look at Imran Khan and Narendra Modi. Both have achieved some amazing things throughout their lives and have proven to be massive contributions to their countries that they love and serve. Leave all your thoughts and comments down below in the video description. Join in on the conversation and be sure to subscribe to my new personal channel FTD Speaks. Again, I can't wait to start sharing videos with you on that channel. So subscribe and look out for new videos soon. And also a reminder to any Spanish speaking viewer, the link to FTD Facts Espanol is below as well. So thank you to all of you viewers who just continue to support FTD Facts and just allow us to grow and create new channels. So thank you for learning with me in this episode. It's been awesome. I can't wait to see all of you again in another video, whichever video that is. Hey everyone, and if you're still watching this video, well, here's some playlists that have more videos about Narendra Modi and Imran Khan, as well as the different countries and cultures. So enjoy these videos and come back here each and every day to FTD Facts for more educational videos.